Hello there, and oh my god. I have been looking forward to this game for quite some time. Let's go ahead and make sure that I have reset my progress data, just to double check. And yes, oh my gosh, this game. I've done a little bit of playing through of this. I did like a recording, and then it turned out that the game audio was like way too loud. So I'm doing another recording, uh, so it's not completely blind, but this is Quadrilateral Cowboy. This is the game I've been waiting for for the past two years, two, three years. Um, I found out about it in 2014, so two years. Um, God, words. Uh, it's It describes itself as 20th century cyberpunk, and uh, those of you who know me know that I am all about 20th century cyberpunk, so... Let's uh, get this going. I've been super excited for this game. It's all about hacking, all about fun stuff. Those are my two friends. There's my uh, Bien, uh, Bien Gentu uh, vinyl mate, whatever. What an amazing idea for like a Walkman. And we're on hover bikes on a railway. And this is a train carrying something that is very important to us. Blendo Games presents Quadrilateral Cowboy. Happy New Year, 1980. Alright. So this is back of the train. Attention, please press WSD. I want to say this is like... Like, from what I've seen of the setting so far, and given the names of stuff, it feels like this is kind of like a, like a, I don't know, the, the culture in this uh, setting, it's kind of like a blend of French and Japanese, and I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so door one open for three seconds. So you start out with this basic device that already has commands like loaded into it, which is pretty cool. So basically I can use the data jack and plug it into uh, this. And open the skylight and hop in. So let's go between the cars. And you can see my character's silhouette. They're wearing headphones. Let's go ahead and open the attic. And there we are, this is me. A gender ambiguous person from what I can tell. Maybe it's a dude, maybe it's a lady. I can't say for sure. Screw the gender binary, whatever. <laughs> okay, so got to open the vault. Data boost Michelin, all right. Boop, there we go. And uh, we're just going to get back out of this train. And find out what I just stole. Alright. And push a button and back on my bike. Bim bim. And now we are back. Mechanical failure, get jam. Some trouble getting the gate together. If I open up the briefcase, this is the CPU. Just get that plugged in and screwed up. And my friend was able to get the gate open. So let's go ahead and open the lockers and the cabinet while I'm here. So there's a power supply unit. Let's get that plugged in. Hard drive. Get that plugged in. RAM. God, look at that. 256k of RAM right there. It's astonishing. There's the optics. <clears throat> 
and the multilinear subspace coprocessor. I remember seeing a lot about this thing in the trailer. Mainly that the game had them, and that they were called multilinear subspace coprocessors. Boom! The Bien Gensu Simulator KDR7. Let's take a look! Ooh, this is a site that's familiar to me. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Magic Circle. Just walking around cyberspace. I like bland cyberspace. About as white and bland as me, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I was terrible. Um, okay, opening serial device, COM9, okay. Serial port settings, okay. Power run is cleaned. Subspace unit is okay. Bien Jensu platform. Okay, let's take a look around. So there's this thing here, Moto Spectre. Uh, left click to turn off engine and hide here. Oh, okay, so you can hide in the alleys. So this is basically a stealth driving game. Oh, gotta be in spot. Oh no. No. Okay. Spot but 14 times. Victory! Time spotted 14. Wonderful. So it's busy in the middle of compiling uh, one of the heist planners, but uh, we have a few things here. Tanku Doriftu. Oh my god. Tank drifting. Let's take a look at Heist Planner version 0 0.2. By Trombadina. Release notes. Added zoom. Press Z. Actually, can I exit out of this? No, I can't. I forgot to check a note. Oh well. Close door. Initial check in. Room gen is now a static method. I like it to change log, it's just there. And this is the extraction point. Okay. Added swinging doors. And we have the... Uh, I don't know what model this is. It's a Bien Gensu of some sort. <clears throat> the Bien Gensu... 0860X? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Door 5. Dot open. And there we go. So door 5 is open. And we can extract. Uh, change log here. Variable zoom, so I can press Z and then I can zoom in and out using the uh, scroll wheel. Recommend automatic security. Alarm triggers of door stays open for longer than three seconds. So yeah, that's the a recommend three second alarm. That is one of the major uh, game, uh, I guess one of the major puzzle elements of this game. So, I talked about this in my first recording, but this is a thing that I really, really like. Um, this is essentially entirely a game about uh, using a pretty simple programming language to manipulate the world around you. And if you know me, I enjoy, you know, computer craft, open computers, just anything that involves computer technology and using it to manipulate the world around you. Same with Gary's model, though I haven't figured out Expression 2 yet. So it's so here. I can actually skip that first step because... Uh, Literally, all that you're doing by typing in the uh, door's name is showing the available commands for it. So, let's see here. Alarm triggers if door stays open longer than three seconds. Okay, so I can just activate and take the uh, pack with me. And I'm out. Alright, cool. And uh, Heist Planner 0 0.3 is available. Alright, cool. Let's check this out. Oh. Mm. Nope. It's it's messed up. Can can we can we stop with the radio though? 
Let's just, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at this note. I was going to take a look at this earlier. This gives us a little bit of backstory. Dear Impala Solutions, regarding your contract for work application, I regret to advise you there are present no vacancies in the acquisitions di division in which you could be accommodated. Furthermore, it's not expected that any opportunities will occur in the foreseeable future. So this probably... Let's see. Thank you for your application letter. After much consideration, I regret to inform you your application for the contract work position was not successful. That's from Shiners. So basically, there's a lot, a lot, from what I can see, of, uh, let's see. Yeah, there have been a lot of jobs that have been rejected. Uh, and, uh, so I guess we're, uh, gonna heist. Oh. Ah, yes, the good old, uh, Charlie Brown teacher speak. Okay. Let's debug this. So that was January 1980. And uh, over the course of a year, we have managed to uh, get the heist planner up to version 1.0 for release. Okay, so that person's reading a book. Again with the radio. Or the gramophone, whatever it is. No. Can I turn off the... Oh, that's the air conditioning. I don't think we need air conditioning in uh, winter. Okay. So to my job. Prep work, get contract, research, observation, world construction, planning, job zero, job one, job two, showtime, sanity check, execution, Get paid. Shopping expedition. Excellent. Let's see this. Oh, by the way. Otis eyes. That's what I've got. Just press Z. Okay, so let's insert the diskette. And simulate the Setsuma job. So we're going to go on job zero, training wheels. And I think this should be a good uh, showcase of how the... Uh, Heist Planner V1.0 photograph the contract. Okay, so I select my deck, I put it down here, it's here, let's see, door 3, dot open 3, pack up and go through, and this is the Setsuma Center, like I said, it's some interesting Japan French kind of storyline from what I can tell. So we're being taught how to clamber. Hold W and press spacebar. Just clamber up these walls. Alright, cool. So that's great four. We're gonna have to go ahead and get that open. And through. Likewise for great five. Forgot to click to back up my deck that time around, but it's okay. Okay, off to the contract room. And we have an interesting uh, obstacle to uh, get past here. It's one of these uh, combination locks. And in order to unlock the combination lock, we need to use the Muffuletta, which basically sends us a code. 9456, alright. And then when it's done, or if it hits a laser, more about that in a second, it explodes and self-destructs. So it's a one-use thing. And you'll have to activate it and it'll generate a new code for you. So speaking of lasers, Laser 9, this motherfucker, is just chilling out there. Which means that we have to deactivate the laser as the uh, Muffuletta code is coming through. So there's enough time for me to do this. And let's see here. Laser 9. 
dot off three. And you deactivate it, and it goes through. So yeah, um, laser nine's commands are laser nine dot off and laser nine dot on. <clears throat> and uh, as always, just stash that. So this code is two three six five. Now we can separate commands with a semicolon to stack them up. So you're going to see that in this one. Laser 19.off3, laser20.off3. And we're not going to activate that yet because I need to get the device going. We'll look at it very carefully. And boom. So this code is 3414. However, just to show you what would happen if you mess it up, or if you accidentally destroy this thing. Actually, I wonder if the code will still work. Oh yeah, so it does. But yeah, if you had to generate the code again, um, you would be given a new code from what I remember. And now we have a camera to deal with, so let's go ahead and just plunk a terminal down here. So that is... Oh, sorry, not laser, but camera. Let's see. Words. Camera 3... Let's see here. Oh, no output monitors. Okay. I guess I got that later on in the game. Okay. Through the door. And there are the contracts. Okay. Objective complete. And that's the objective complete, so now I've got to get back out. I... Oh. Hmm. That was odd. There we go. So let's uh, get camera three off again and get out of here. And I did a lot better that time compared to uh, compared to the uh, compared to the first time I did this, where I triggered an alarm three times because I was uh, messing up with the laser. So we just get the bolts off, and we're out. And we have the contracts. Or so the uh, simulation Stop goes. Time. So yeah, um, that is Quadrilateral Cowboy in a nutshell. There's a door three down here. Oh wait, that's where we're getting in. <clears throat> the global average so far is 34 minutes because people are getting the at least three camera triggers, or like three laser triggers, or whatever. <clears throat> They're setting off alarms in some way, and every time you set off an alarm, it adds ten minutes to your final time. So you got to keep that in mind. But yes, I love this game. I think it's out already, but I'm having a rough month, and tomorrow is like the worst day of the month for reasons that I won't go into here. Um, and to have this game come out just a day before that is uh, very much appreciated. I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this. And there's workshop support as well, so um, people will be able to make custom maps and you'll be able to do more uh, hacking challenges. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing like a full story playthrough of this, but uh, you can definitely expect to see more videos of this when I find some really cool stuff to show off. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you later.